Hey there, it's Lance with Love to Hate, back again with another unboxing video. This time we're going to take a look at another expansion to It's a Wonderful World from Lucky Duck Games. Uh, it is the Corruption and Ascension expansion. Uh, this is a new expansion that adds new types of cards to the game. It also it expands the game to seven players. Uh, it used to be that you could only play from one to five players, but now you can play with up to seven. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. We're gonna take an overhead view. All right, so there you go. You can see the front cover of the box with the uh, familiar uh, dual-sided artwork here, except instead of a uh, red and blue type look, we have purple and yellow. Then it looks like we have some mobsters, gangster kind of stuff going on on the purple side and uh, maybe some kind of uh, military uh, space exploration or something of the sorts going on on the yellow side here. Let's take a look on the back. And uh, it says four brand new types of cards. We have corruption cards, give up part of your production. And so it looks like when you construct these cards, you have to pay uh, your resource cubes, it looks like perhaps. Uh, master projects, maximize your point victory points. Uh, this one here shows 25 victory points when you construct this card, but it looks like it requires a ton of resources to build. This one right here says super production, produce at top speed. Uh, look at that, you produce three uh, gold and two of the blue, I'm not sure, I can't remember what the blue resource is called. Uh, and then duo scoring, double risk, double reward. Here you can see that you would gain six points for every uh, yellow card, as well as every one of the uh, red tokens there. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and let you take a look at what's inside. Uh, this is an expansion. It does require the base game in order to play this. And here we go. All right, so there you can see the front cover a little bit better. And let's open it up. All right. So we got a rule book here. Um, this rule book looks to be about four pages front and back. Uh, there are some solo scenarios for all of you out there who enjoy playing solo. You do get some extra solo scenarios. It looks to be about six here in this expansion. Uh, and uh, there are some instructions here on the back telling you how to uh, combine this with the War or Peace expansion, which I do have right here on the table. Uh, War or Peace, and if you want to check out our videos on War or Peace, you can click that I in the top right corner. It'll take you to those videos. So there you go. That's the rule book. Uh, we do have some additional cubes. I imagine this is because it allows us to expand up to seven players, and so you need more cubes when you do that. So there you go. Um, we do have some new tokens. Uh, because the old tokens from the base game that were for these uh, blue and red, blue guy, red gal tokens, I can't remember the exact name, but they were circles. Um, these are hexagons. So, uh, curious to find out what that could all be about. And these punch out very nice. They're nice and thick, just like the base game. Uh, and Lucky Duck Games, what they're known for. Good quality parts here. Um, here are our cards. So there you can see how many cards you are going to be getting in this expansion. Um, let's see if I can open this up. And so there you can see these are the corruption cards that cause you to have to pay resources when you build this particular card. Um, two gray to get a gold, that's nice because it's hard to get gold in this game, but you do have to play, uh, pay, excuse me, a blue. There's um, some of the, uh, the uh, heavy producer cards. I can't remember what they're called, um, but yeah, it produces quite a bit there. And so there's some more corruption cards, looks like. Um, three gold, nice. 
Uh, let's see if I can't find any of these ones that give you lots of points. And so, more cards here. And there's one uh, of the uh, Double the Risk, Double the Rewards, Telekinesis. Uh, six points for every black card, as well as every blue token that you have. There's one, six points for every gray card and every green card that you have, Dark Matter. Here we go, Artificial Sun, 25 points. Look how many resources it costs, though. That's a ton. Man, I don't know. Nine points for every green card and every yellow card. But again, look at all those resources it costs. Immortality, wow. These cards are crazy. Utopia, 12 points. Um, so yeah, pretty crazy cards here. This expansion seems to be nutso. Um, and what they are adding to this game. I like it. It makes me really want to get this to the table very soon. So there you go. And we do have, uh, I didn't know this, two new um, factions or empires, whatever you call these. Um, so there you go. We've got uh, Nations of Oceana and Hegemony of the North. So there you go. Very cool. Um, they have unique icons here in the top left corner. And um, that is the A side. There's the B side, for those of you that like to play the advanced version of the game. So there you go. And what's this? Oh, it's a scoreboard with uh, dry erase markers. So that's cool. Very nice. Uh, it's a fold-out, looks like. Let's fold that out. Look at that. That is very cool. I like that a lot. So there you go. And that's front and back. So there you go. And again, plays up to seven. And there are seven slots here now to be able to keep track of score for everyone at the table. Very nice. All right, let's uh, put everything back in the box and come back up top. All right, so there you go. That was It's a Wonderful World, Corruption and Ascension, uh, the newest expansion for this game from Lucky Duck Games. We are going to be doing a playthrough review video on this new expansion to let you guys know how that works and what our thoughts are, as well as whether or not this is an expansion that makes uh, It's a Wonderful World uh, a game that is good for non-gamers um, you guys already know our thoughts on this game if you've watched our review on the base game. And if you haven't, you can click that I in the top right corner and check out that video real quick. Uh, but this uh, new expansion, I'm very excited to get it to the table and see how it works. And you guys can check out the videos on that in the very near future. All right, for right now, though, I am Lance. This is Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.